Good evening, guys. Hello, and welcome back to another Embry Family YouTube video. Uh, today, we're actually doing a Bible reading uh, with the family, and we're doing this at least once a week, trying to do it on Sunday. So, we are actually doing this today, and we are hoping that you guys enjoy, sit back, and listen, and also kind of leave us a comment and let me let us know what you guys think about uh, our video. Uh, we will be reading from Proverbs, so I hope you guys listen well. I hope someone is blessed by uh, the discussion uh, of tonight. So don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe uh, to our channel, share this video. Once again, leave us a comment, or if you cannot comment, just show us uh, some love by uh, hitting the like button letting us know that you guys do uh, approve of what is being said. Okay? So, I'm not going to continue to hold it up. I'm allowed to go ahead and go off into this next video with the Embry Squad, Embry Family Squad Entertainment. Okay? So, you guys enjoy, and we will be seeing you guys later. Peace. Welcome back to another video here with the Emory Family Entertainer. We are here on a Sunday night doing our Bible reading that we would like to invite you guys with. We're doing this with us. Uh, we have here myself, Layla, uh, Ivy, Mama, and Tyler. So we will actually doing, uh, be doing some uh, reading here with you guys. I hope everybody is doing good today. I have, hope everybody's had a great, great Sunday. Uh, so, um, and we hope everybody's doing good. So, simple as that. But before we get into this, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel, click that like button, share these videos, make sure that you tell somebody else about us, and also let us know in the comments or by uh, impression of thumbs up, letting us know that you guys do. Uh, appreciate and like the videos okay uh, so we're gonna do now we're gonna go ahead and um, make this pretty quick so um, we won't bore you guys and so we're gonna go ahead and do the prayer before we get into that okay so who wants to lead the prayer <coughs> I did, Layla okay Layla's gonna do the prayer right quick so we can go ahead and do the uh, Bible reading, and after she do that, we'll we'll definitely start that. Okay. So everybody, by your heads, later you can go ahead. Uh, oh, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Uh uh, not read. Say your prayer. Say the prayer. Okay. Thank you for the day. Have home. I, I love this day that you have made for us. And you try all your best to help us. And we did all the we did all the pressure to make this day have come. And then Oh. Amen. Now you gonna stop playing and go ahead and say your prayer. Tell her to say amen because she was lost. No, she she say your real prayer, okay? Can I say the prayer? Yeah, we'll let Layla say it. Abby say it since Layla wants to uh, play about it. We apologize for you guys. Okay. Uh, Lord Jesus, thank you for this day 
ended. And thank you for our family being safe and taking care of. And thank you for Granny and Papa um, be taking care of soon. And we hope we have a great day tomorrow. Make sure my dad has a great day at work. He doesn't get into any accidents or anything. He doesn't have any trouble. And he prays and stay focused. And make sure we have an excellent day tomorrow. And make sure Harper and May will be good. And we won't have to do anything, basically. We won't, basically, we won't hurt ourselves or anything. And Lord Jesus, um, I thank you for all of, all that you have done with us in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so we do appreciate uh, Layla for that attempt for the prayer, and we appreciate uh, Ivy for the prayer as well. So we did both of those. Both of them did really, really well. So. All right, here we go. So first of all, we're going to, we definitely appreciate you guys for joining in with us. Uh, we are actually doing this, just kind of showing some kind of the, the family um, uh, time that we actually spend together. And as you guys see this on YouTube, this is actually something that Janetta started uh, with the family. And to be honest with you, this is something we even do off the camera, so we don't really record it all. Um, so it's something that she started and that she um, wanted to implement that we started doing it. So, um, of course, you know, it was good for us to uh, start doing it. So, uh, you know, we wanted to share that, you know, part with you guys and let you guys see um, the structure that we try to apply here with our children, including ourselves. That doesn't mean or make anyone uh, perfect uh, because, you know, we're, we're still striving uh, perfect, for perfection. Um, and that's all we that's all God asks us to do. So uh, we want to try to do our best to do what we need to do that knowing it's the right thing. Uh, so I hope it, you know, uh, encourages someone else as well to do the same thing. So, um Janelle, did you have anything to say before we start? No. Um, no. Okay. Tyler, did you, did you want to speak about something before we get started? Okay. And I also want to mention this right quick. Like, I, do you want to mention something real quick? Okay, go ahead. You guys, um, of this video, y'all are probably asking, like, why do you do these? Like, blah, blah, blah. We do these because, like, these videos is basically part two of the, of the other one we did. Um, but we do this because, like, we love Jesus and we love supporting him. Like, my mom, um, does this thing. Like, every night she listens to Bible verses on the TV. And then, well, for all the kids out there. If some people still go to church, I know some people don't, but, uh, well, if you used to go to church and you bring your kids with you or your grandkids or something, or somebody, um, they would feel bored. They were like, I want to go home. I don't like this. I want to go home. This is boring. I can't wait until this is over. But soon as you, like, grow up to like be a parent you you would like love to be in church you would like understand it more yeah okay well appreciate that from ivy uh she's always got something to say <laughs> so good job ivy uh so but the thing it is too and, and i want to mention about her she actually was doing all um, I guess she was in the room the other night with her mom and she was reading or whatever she was doing. She was actually, she was doing a video and, uh, I, I actually have that possibly on a uh, recording that we will, uh, publish as well, put out on YouTube. And she, after, after finishing up that she came in, uh, the living room and told me, she said, daddy, 
I felt so good about talking about Jesus. Um, and so I heard her uh, and she continued to talk and she said, I felt really good. Daddy. I mean, it just made me feel so good that I just can't express how I feel about Jesus. And that to me, to me, that is really, really good. I mean, that that's, that shows that uh, the kids is picking up, uh, m might not pick up every single thing that we're saying, but they are being inspired by something uh, of what we're actually trying to, uh, you know, uh, inspire them with, you know, or, or you know, um, use as a uh, uh, guide, guidance for them. So, but we appreciate her for that, and we pray that at some point, Layla get to that point. So, um, Deacon Tyler, he, he going to get to that point, too. Ain't it right, Deacon Tyler? <laughs> Deacon D. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's All right. All right, guys, we're going to get into this right quick. Um, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to go with Proverbs, okay? We're going to read in Proverbs. Proverbs is very interesting. Um, chapter, so it's very, it has some good stuff in there that we can also read. And if you guys want to read along with us, you uh, feel feel free to do so with that. Um, okay, here we go. Um, I will be reading Proverbs uh, third chapter, starting with the first verse, okay? And it reads, My son, do not forget my teaching. But keep my commandments in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring you health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of your crop. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. Now, with me, uh, just kind of reading this, and it sums it up. Uh, it, it sums it up in so many ways. Um, in the, the 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 heading of that chapter on chapter three is wisdom bestows well being. What we have to understand is that wisdom, if we listen at the word of God and his teachings and keeping his commandments, clearly like it's saying, he has given us the guidelines for our blessings. He has given us the map. He's given us the directions to our blessings. But one thing about it, what we do, we actually tend to want to write up our own or draw up our own directions and try to get to our blessings in our own way. And a lot of time that costs us blessings because we move when we should move and when we should be still and allow God to uh, direct us on that. So I'm going to let Janetta uh, or Tyler do the next reading for that.
Okay. Um, my son, do not despise the Lord. Okay, this is number 11. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline or be weary of his reproof. 12. For the Lord reproves him whom he loves as a father and son in whom, he's, whom he delights. So, basically that saying, um, a father should shape his own parenting. He's saying, my son, do not despise the Lord's discipline or be weary in his reproof. So, um, to me, that saying, uh, the father should, should shape his own parenting, but also listen to the Lord. For, also listen to the Lord's way to be a parent. Yeah, and that's true. Because, see, the thing it is, all the way you can really run a home, all the way you can really have a home, and and all the way you can really have a home is by being led by the Spirit. I mean, you look, we're not going to be perfect. You have parents that have arguments, and you have children that give parents a hard time. But still, if you're listening to the Lord and going by the word of God or going by the scriptures of what is saying in here, you will have structure. You will have some kind of guidance of how to handle situations. Uh, in, in retrospect to the verses, what we're basically saying is that you have to understand that children will rebel. Children uh, will rebel against parents, even at the discipline. A lot of times, a child, even though you 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 will have whooped them, you discipline them, sometimes they'll still go and do the same exact thing. I mean, they'll turn around and do the same exact thing what you did. Just told them not to do what they just dis got disciplined for. That's the same way in the spiritual realm of things. We as adults, the Lord have disciplined us. We'll turn right back around and do the exact same thing and yet we're wondering why we don't get our blessings or why our blessings has not came to us Hinder. or because so we're hindering our blessings with the way that we're actually carry, doing things within our life within our daily life and so this is clearly saying that I mean basically do not forget my teaching and also do not despise the Lord's discipline because, see, you cannot give up all because your parent uh, uh, disciplined you or our parents used to discipline us. Sometimes you would have thought, my parent hate me. You know, and some children, some parents say the children ran away from home, this and that. Okay, understand this. That child has still got to pay for what they're doing. Okay, but the Lord is saying, do not despise my discipline. Do not despise it. Don't hate it because it's for your good. It's for your good. When you discipline your children, it's for their good. It's to help them. Okay? Because if you did not discipline them, if you did not talk to them, now understand this. Discipline is not saying beating them across the head every time or cussing them out. Because, see, to be honest with you, once we step out inside that realm of God, the way we handle discipline, meaning cursing your children or calling your children out their name and saying stuff that you know you should not be saying, oh. at that point, then you are out of the realm of God and you have turned that discipline into self. Okay? You've turned that into self. Because, see, God, when he disciplined us, God is not cursing us. God is not calling us out of our name. Okay? But he have to allow us to go through things to show us his discipline is not to be despised. Because he's, he's only trying to help us. Janetta, you want something to say? Because I'm, I'm getting tired. <laughs> Not to joke. Yeah, I don't have to act silly. But Tyler, yeah, you said saying, something. Tyler, um, Tyler old enough to speak. Okay. Tyler, tell us what you think. <clears throat> I think that one more stood out to you. Yeah, go ahead. 
Um, Tyler going to say something a little bit, too. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Awesome. Good. Now, tell, tell me what you think about that, Tyler. Because uh, that's, a, that's a good one. Yeah. So, God, he wants you to come to him with a humble heart. Exactly. And well, uh, everybody got to say He wants you to understand the meaning of him. And he wants you to achieve in life. Um, you do not lean on your own understanding. Um, it was so hard. Yeah. Okay. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. <laughs> And do not lean on your own understanding. I like that one too. Okay, Ivan, mean, what you got to say? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Ivan, it's cute. The kids got got, got a little time, but but even yeah, Janelle gonna explain that to us a little bit more. Go ahead, Janelle. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, um. But yes, trust in God with all your heart. You have to trust in Him wholeheartedly. Um, <laughs> trust in Him wholeheartedly, guys, and um, do not lean on your own understanding. Because your way is not the way. Your way is not the way. So yeah. All right. Basically, hey, y'all stop. Put it out. They basically, all right. Basically, like she said, and that is so true. I mean, we cannot. Lean uh, to our own understanding. Our understanding is not God's understanding. Our way is not God's way. So we have to understand that. There's no way that our understanding is better than God's. It's just no possible way. I don't care how you look at it. There's no, no possible way. And also keep this in mind. Some people might be saying, even if you're listening at this, well, I, was, I still be blessed. God reigned on the just as well as the unjust. So you have to understand that. But you also have to understand God's word don't change for you or nobody else. If it said it right here, it's what it meant. And it's so, in your Bible. You I mean, say it out. I mean, the thing it is, <laughs> it's here. It's here. But see, the only way you can be the way you're trying supposed to be that's, that, that's reading in these scriptures that we're reading is that you got to let love and faithfulness stick with you. You have to have love and faithfulness of God. You have to be faithful to God. You have to have love. You cannot do anything that you're not faithful to. Because, see, it won't be real. It will not be real. It will not be sincere. No matter how you look at it, no matter what you do in life, if you are going through the motions of doing what you're doing, then you will not be successful at doing it. Or you will be successful, but you will not enjoy it. So if you sitting up serving God and you're just doing it because it's just something you're used to, you, you, it's still no benefit to you. But if you're doing it because you really love God, for sincereness of your soul and heart, then you will understand and you will reap the benefits of this. So, and what it's saying is bind them around your neck and write them on the tablet of your heart. And he's talking about his commandments. And I know all of us done broke some of the commandments. So, I mean, but one good thing about it, God if it is a forgiving, a forgiving God. God. But it's up to us to ask him. And that's where we have to understand, man. We cannot lean to our own understanding thinking that God is not going to forgive us, okay? Because, see, that's our understanding. But, see, if we go ahead and trust God, ask God, forgive us, Lord, we have to trust and believe that he's going to forgive us and make things better for us. But we got to want to make it better for ourselves. You got to want to make it better for yourself. What you said, Janelle? And you got to stop doing the things that you was doing. You got to turn from your wicked ways. 
And, and that's that's true. And when you know better, you do better. That's true. And see, and I'm gonna show you something else. And then, and this is the honest God true. You cannot do something and yet yet and still hang in that same situation, thinking you're gonna be able to change. It's not going. It's not even possible because what you're doing at that particular point, you're putting yourself in harm's way. You're putting yourself in harm's way. God, the Lord is like the Lord is a life jacket for us. Okay, what good is it going to do? We're drowning in the sea. We're drowning in a sea. The Lord throws us a life jacket of rescue to get out of there to get back to shore, but yet and still, we want to still linger out in the middle of the sea. At some point, God is going to withdraw his hands. At some point, that life jacket is going to play out. Grace and run out. So we have to understand that. The Lord is there for us, but are we there for the Lord? That's what we have to think about as well. And to be honest with you, I'm just, uh, the more I talk about it, the more it just counts. Like I said, kids and stuff gets all sleepy. But I mean, with me being older, wiser, you see things. And then Proverbs is a strong chapter in itself. Anyway, it, it, it's just a strong chapter anyway. Uh, and then on top of that, it talks about honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of your crops. That means tithing. That's tithing. Now, I'm guilty of that. I am guilty of that. I know that. I'm guilty of that. And I'm quite sure many others are guilty of that. Now, we have to understand what tithing is saying out of that. Tithing is the first fruit. Not the second fruit. It didn't say second fruit. It didn't say third fruit. Basically, it's saying not before you, not after you have paid your bills, not after the tax has been cut out of it, but actually you supposed to give him his off top. What do you mean? <clears throat> I make a thousand, you might make a thousand dollars every week. You they make a thousand dollars every week. After taxes, you bring home $738. You know what you're supposed to do? Take God's off that thousand. It comes off the thousand. The first, not the second. Okay? That's what you have to understand. But yet and still what we do, we give him the fifth. Whatever is left. And that's the way our blessings come. Whatever is left. Whatever is left. God wants to bless us, but we have to put ourselves in a position to be blessed. Right. We have to put ourselves in a position to be blessed. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that, man. And I, I love it. I can, this is really that that I can talk about that continuously. I, I mean, that's that's strong right there. I mean, it's got several other things in there that you can talk about. But if you guys get an opportunity, go to Proverbs and read yourself. You have to read the word for yourself. And like I said, we're not we're not perfect and we're not begging you to be perfect. Only thing we're doing, we're sharing inside our home to you across social media what we're doing. OK, this is real. This is not a, 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 a this is not a sketch. This is not, you know, stage. This is real. This is something that we do. And we just thought by her uh, suggesting it that we start putting it out uh, at least once a week for, you know, to share with the world. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, y'all forgive us for the two little ones that excuse themselves. They can only hold up for so long. Uh, they come running back. Um, you know, that's how it is when, when you even in church, man. You, you get sleepy, you get tired. But you know what? Understand this. That the devil wants you to get sleepy and tired once it comes to the word of God. Because for the simple fact is, he don't want you to understand it. Right. He wants you to miss your blessing. So, I, heard I hope that definitely somebody is blessed by what we was talking about shortly. Um, and like I said, we're not forcing anyone to accept what we're saying. 
But what we're doing is strictly on a choice of ours to try to follow the word of God. And that's an everyday progress. It's not an instant change. It's something that you got to want to do uh, to make a step at a time. So definitely, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We hope to see you guys on the next time. And you guys make sure you be blessed. Stay prayed. Pray, stay prayed up. Don't forget to pray because prayer change things. Don't be too proud to pray. Subscribe to our video. Don't forget to share this and like it. Okay? Until next time, you guys be safe. God will bless you. Peace.